Good evening, guys. Today's my last evening in Europe before I head back to the States for a little bit. Um, it has been nearly six months since I have left the States. So I've been doing a lot of reflecting lately and just kind of thinking about my trip and things that I got out of it that I can't show you on a video. Um, and I think the number one thing is just I was able to get a lot more time to myself. Um, you know, that's something that I didn't really have back in the States. So I was always busy with work, with uh, friends and activities and races and things like that you have a lot of time to kind of really get to know yourself. And I know that sounds scary sometimes, I know a lot of people kind of avoid that, but um, I think I do know myself quite a bit better. I think I have a greater sense for um, just kind of what I want to do before I settle down. Before I have kids, before I get married, before I have a house, all those things, I think I have a better sense of the lifestyle that I want. So maybe you're wondering, would I do anything differently uh, if I had to do this over? No, I would not do anything differently. I might actually start earlier. There's, there's a lot of excuses and a lot of uh, things that I kept me from doing it, but I think you know when I was able to identify the right timing, uh, have the money saved, um, the confidence <laughs> or, or craziness, maybe it's the craziness, uh, to finally do something like this. And, any other regrets? Um, no, can't think of one regret. You just can't plan for these things, you know? And that's, that's the beauty of it, just because I think life beforehand was very structured, right? I had five days a week planned out, I'm at work, I'm doing certain things, but on a, in a way, it kind of makes me appreciate life a little bit more. Like, you never know just on a random, you know, Sunday where you might meet a random person and take an adventure together on the streets or you might meet somebody and travel the country with them for five days. So every day can lead to something new and you know, you just have to be open and willing to look for those opportunities. I think some of the other questions that I was trying to answer during this time is, um, would I be able to live in another country? Yes, <laughs> you know, after spending time out here, meeting the people, seeing everything Europe has to offer, I really do think it's, it's somewhere that I would consider moving to for a few years, maybe not forever, but uh, sorry mom and dad, but I, I really would consider working here for a while. I hate being in front of the camera. This is not something I've ever imagined doing. Um, the only reason I'm doing it is just because, personally for me, to see you know, what this adventure kind of looks like all stitched together uh, you know, when, you're, when you're looking back at it. But just if you're watching and you think this is out of reach, it, it really isn't. I mean, to me, this was a dream six months ago. Um, this is something that I've wanted to do for 10 years, almost 10 years. Actually, after, after graduation, I spent a lot of time paying off a huge amount of student debt. Something a lot of people don't know about me, I had a lot of credit card debt at the time. It took me a long time to pay those things off. Uh, once I got them paid off, I saved some money, I did some planning, I learned how to do this uh, economically, I learned how to build points while I'm at home. I am so relieved that I have done this. And, you know, like I said earlier, I have zero regrets right now. This is probably going to be the most maybe not the most yeah actually probably the most this is probably the most epic experience i've ever had in my life so if this is something you've dreamed of it probably will be everything you've wanted and more i'm not even just saying that because honestly i do feel this gratitude and um you know happiness that i was able to do this i don't even know if that was possible i thought i was a happy person before but i'm even more happy and the world feels like a smaller place i'm actually not done traveling so i'm gonna go home uh, i'm gonna attend a wedding uh, see some friends, see some family, hang out for a bit. Uh, but I've already decided that six months is not enough for me. It sounds insane, but I, it's really not. So um, yeah, we're gonna tack on some more time. So uh, my commitment to you guys is that I wanna make this something, you know, not just for me as a record of what I did and to remind myself how much this experience means to me, um, but also a chance for you guys, if you guys have questions, if this is something you wanna do, or how am I traveling around, or why am I not freaking out that my baggage is lost? You know, I can answer any of those questions. You know, just put them down in the comments, shoot me an email, Facebook, whatever. Yeah, just, just let me know what interests you guys, okay?